Okay, so some emails. What do you mean McDonald's got rid of the beef tallow in their french fries? Now, you may not remember this because it's all the way back in 2002. McDonald's did this. That would be 13 years ago, almost 13 years ago. Uh, here's the New York Times had the celebratory article. New York Times, as happy as they could be. New York Times ecstatic. The McDonald's Corporation plans to issue an apology and pay $10 million to vegetarian and religious groups for using beef flavoring in its French fries. The action's part of a, a proposed settlement of lawsuits charging that the company misled consumers. The lawsuit was based on an assumption, folks. From the New York Times article, McDonald's said it had switched to vegetable oil to cook its French fries in 1990. Many people assumed that the food was suitable for vegetarian diets. Vegeta vegetable oil? Vegetarian. No, it doesn't work that way because McDonald's is a capitalist company, and that's why they were targeted. They were big. They were pleasing to young people and children, and these literal insane lunatics were out trying to make people think that global warming and climate change was being caused drastically by McDonald's. And I'm sure McDonald's thought, okay, let's get rid of this. We got a hassle. We don't want people protesting. So let's, let's just give them what they want. Fine. And the problem never goes away. You cannot ever appease the left. You can't appease ISIS. You can't appease Al Qaeda. There was nobody was going to appease the Nazis. All these people have to be defeated, folks. The, the McDonald's didn't recognize they're up against enemies, not health freaks. They were up against enemies. And that's what I think a lot of people don't want to even go. They don't even want to go there. Don't want to admit that that requires an entirely different kind of business model. Um, uh, you know, a corporation may say, we don't want to get anywhere near politics. But if the people trying to put them out of business are doing so with a political agenda, I'm sorry, they're being dragged into it by virtue of the fact the aggressor in conflicts always sets the rule.